an easy to make power rack for 120 euros. Keep watching to see how we did it. Hi guys, today we are going to show you how to build a power rack out of wood. It's going to be easy, it's going to be cheap and most of all it's going to be very fast to make. So the first thing you will need is of course wood. We are using these pieces. These are 9 by 9 centimeters, so they're quite thick. You can go a little bit thinner, but please watch out. It's going to be strong enough. And if you're wondering, the American sizes will be down below in the description. So if you're from America, just read the description for your sizes. These are 2 meters long. You're going to need 4 of these. And then these are 1 meter long. And you're going to be needing 6 of these. You might need some extra wood to create these. These are going to be corner pieces. Perhaps you don't need them. It depends on how strong you want your structure to be. We are not going to be using these. Maybe we are going to add them later, but please keep that in mind. You may need some extra wood. And now you're wondering, what does this cost? So the wood was around 50 to 60 euros. And if you're wondering, what it is in dollars will also be down below in the description. The next thing you're going to be needing is some scaffolding pipe. And why scaffolding pipe? Well, you can get it basically everywhere and it's relatively cheap. And most of all, it's a good size. So, these are 27 millimeters, well actually 26.9 millimeters. And basically the size is great because it's very similar to a barbell. So that's why we are going to be using scaffolding pipe. And the size, as mentioned before, 26.9 millimeters, but we're just going to be call it 27 millimeters, just for ease. So, now the length. You're going to be needing two pieces of one meter 50. And once again, American sizes will be down below. So, two of the big pieces, those are going to slide through all the way through the power rack. This, those will be your big safety pins for your squats, uh, your bench press, whatever you want to use them for. One of 99 centimeters, this is going to be your pull-up bar. And you might be wondering why not one meter? Well, we're going to be attaching these. So please remember that, so 99 centimeters. And then you're going to be needing two of these small pieces. These are 15 centimeters and those are going to be your small safety pins. So those are going to be ones you're going to use to put your, uh, your bar back after you're done with your squats. Then, connection plates. We're going to be using 16 of these. You can use less, but please keep in mind it will be less strong if you use less. 16 anchor pieces for the corners. We're going to be using 16, you can do it with less. Once again, please make sure it's strong enough. And then, six foot pieces. Two are going to be needed in order to mount your puller bar. And then the other four will go on the safety pins in order to make sure your bar doesn't roll off. Finally, two of these. These are going to go on the other end of your small safety pins in order to make sure that they don't slide through. Finally, you may be wondering once again, what has this costed? Well, all these metal pieces together, they are new. You can get it cheaper if you get it second hand. But new and cut on size at the store was around 50 to 60 euros. So once again, not that expensive. Finally, you will be needing some equipment. So first of all, a drill. Well, we are going to be using the drill. Drill in the screws and to drill the holes with this uh, spade drill bit, whatever you like to call it. You can use other equipment to drill the holes, but well, we are going to be using this just because we already had it. Then a tape measure, something to mark, because we are going to be drilling holes and you need to mark where the holes should go. And finally an Allen or hex wrench, whatever you like to call it, and these are going to be used to tighten these up. The next thing we are going to do is to drill the holes. 
it's important to know where to start. We are going to start at 60 centimeters and why? This is basically the lowest point you will need. You don't need to go any lower because you don't need safety pins for deadlifts or for rows. So 60 centimeters is the lowest point. We use it for shrugs. So when you're done with shrugs, you can put the bar down easily. So please check when you're doing shrugs, a little bit below the lowest point, so you can put the bar down easily. And now for the steps and the amount of holds, we are going to be using steps of 15 centimeters. So the next one will be at 75 centimeters. And this is just because this is a great amount. And it's not too big, it's not too small, so it's ideal actually for us. And we will be going to drill eight holes. So the highest point will be 165 centimeters. And you might be wondering why not go any higher, but you don't need to go any higher. Basically for shoulder press, if you can already do it in this, you don't need a really high point. Just a little bit above the shoulder is already great. And it's important to make sure your holes are in the middle, so use your tape measure. And really be careful with measuring where your holes should be. Please just draw lines in the middle to make sure your lines are straight, they're at the right point, otherwise your safety pins won't fit. Alright, we have placed a couple of lines. First of all, a big one across the length and then a few shorter ones across the width. So we know exactly where to place the holes. Of course, we are going to be using a 30 millimeter spade drill. So you have a little bit of room to play with since the uh, pipes are only 27 millimeters. But please be precise with this, otherwise it won't fit. Alright, all the holes have been drilled took a little bit longer than expected so it's time to put this thing together now it's important to realize the floor here isn't really even so it might seem a little bit wobbly but we will make sure it will be even at the end by adding some plates underneath it so if you're wondering why it may be a little bit wobbly that's why and you also may be wondering why should I put the connection plate the corner anchors and stuff like that and after we finish building it, we will show exactly where to put this thing so you can do it yourselves.
as you can see, this is the result. This is our wooden power rack. And we have had it for a week now. It's stable enough. It's strong enough. As you can see, it's already a little bit dirty because we were working in the garden. So don't pay attention to that. So as you can see, the four two meter pillars are standing on the floor and between them are the one meter pieces. So that's how actually how you mount it. And then on top, as you can see in the front, there's the puller bar. And to show you exactly how we did it, we're also going to show you where to put the corner pieces and the connection plates. So finally, the connection plates and the corner pieces. I'm just going to show one side basically on top and on the other side it's basically the same so you can figure it out yourselves first is not any different all right so we have a connection plate over here in the front and also on the back side you can't see it but it's actually there and then a corner piece to connect it even better and this is the front side of our power rack and then we go to the back as you can see there are a lot of corner pieces here so one over here one over here and then one inside the corner actually and then also two connection plates those are in the back so over here and there so basically everywhere you can mount it using connection plates or corner pieces it. it has been applied so please keep that in mind the more connection plates you use and the more corner pieces the more stable it will be We are done with the power rack. Hopefully this has helped you to make yours. And if you're wondering, we are going to expand it. We're gonna do some different things. So if you're wondering what we're going to do, please subscribe to our channel. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.